Oh! <laughs> Keep that boy from a side down. You're there, ladies and gentlemen, again. It's green lane time. I'm off out with the boys. This is uh, most of, or some of, the same group I went out with over winter, which is really awesome. Got invited out with them again. So, uh, yeah, I haven't been filming the whole thing. I'm just filming a couple of lanes that I've not done um, since the last one, to be honest, as opposed to uh, recording the whole lot and having an incredibly long video that I'm not going to be able to edit into something you're going to want to watch. So, yes, I'm being a considerate YouTuber. <laughs> or whatever. Because <laughs> we're out a little longer and a little further than I ride with Pezza. I'm going to follow his advice. He was telling me last time we went out that I stand up too much. And I sort of explained to him that I got into a really bad habit when I had my KTMs of not standing up at all. But he is right. It will help with my endurance and my stamina and all that and my energy usage. So uh, I'm going to try a little bit of both. Thank you. I remember this one. Quite sandy. But I feel a little bit more confident in the sand now and actually the sand is a little bit damp so it shouldn't be too sketch with my limited ability I think when we come down here last time I think when we come down here last time it was a horse and we had to lean our bikes against the side of the trail for it to get down here which was a bit of a mission for the horse quite brave of it to go past us we're roughy tufty bikers right, this is a steep one I think and we're up woohoo yeah I'm glad I watched Mr Fish's and uh, Big Pezza's video the other day because they come down this lane then there's a bit of a drop off here as well I think Yep. Trying to let the bike do its own thing underneath me. I don't know how convincing that looks to anyone behind me though. <laughs> Trying not to uh, let the bike moving around be something that unsettles me. Ah, these things can really mess you up if you don't expect them. Oh, whoopity whoops. I've got to keep my pace down and uh, I have been down here before we're now down in Hindhead oh, something like that I think it's called <laughs> damn it my boy got well out of sorts there nearly went over the bars I felt like yep I, ju I just can't do these on this bike with my skill level because I'm gonna get catapulted I just know it uh, why don't I go out to the right they're smaller uh, yeah I made a right mess of them uh, a right mess Indeed, but um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Now this was all full of water last time I was here. And now we've got the sand to contend with. And I'm not very good at sand either. And this is the easy sand. <laughs> and this is where we come into the slightly harder sand. And when I say harder, I don't mean it's hard sand. It's quite deep, dusty sand, I believe. And I've got to remember to keep my weight back. Keep the throttle quite neutral. <laughs> it's 
so again the faster you go the easier it is but my confidence level is not there to go mega fast I just uh, I don't have faith I don't have faith <laughs> and I'm trying as best as I can to keep my weight as far back as I possibly can <laughs> oh my word oh my word <laughs> Sorry buddy uh. oh, We're surviving We're surviving uh, I don't know how but I am surviving uh. Go right don't go down there. Oh. <laughs> I really don't know what I'm doing. Oh. This is funny, but fucking sketch. Oh, oh my word. Oh. 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 <laughs> That's stupid. I haven't got a clue how to do that. <laughs> Man, this is hard. We got to the other bit end and we turned around and coming back now. <laughs> oh, crazies, crazy crazies. So apparently you just let the front do what it wants to do. Mine wants to tuck and throw me off. <laughs> so I've got to let it do that apparently. <laughs> oh man. Oh. I'm glad I caught that. This is really awesome. They're taking me completely down new trails that I've never, never played on before. This is just brilliant. This is really, really awesome. Proper good little explore. So I think the loop we're doing today is about a hundred miles all in. Um, obviously, there's a fair bit of road work as well, but it's going to be a good day out. I'm really struggling at the moment. My brain is just not working and it might be actually because I'm riding lanes that I'm not familiar with um, Yeah, just, my confidence is a bit dinked at the moment, I'm not sure why because I haven't fallen off and I haven't found anything that has been a particular struggle yet. I just think uh, it's it's in familiarity or unfamiliarity is the real word. In familiarity, that's something else. I think. But yeah, because I haven't been on these ones before, I don't quite know what to expect from them. Oh, that nearly ripped me peak off. That did. Oh, so it was a eventful lane for Peter. His uh, chain came off uh, down on Water Lane not the most ideal place for it to happen <laughs> fortunately they managed to put it back on for him this is really pretty really pretty riding there's a good crowd of us today we've lost one of them he's gone home early I'm not sure if he only had a half day pass or something. But there's still a good few of us out. Wow, we've just had to hop onto a curb that was uh, quite tight. I've not had to do that on a bike before. Which uh, was a challenge because of the angles of everything. Um, so it was cool to do that, that's new. I like doing new things. I'm really glad this bike's got the handles on the back though. They really help for uh, manoeuvring. All these tight places you can grab a bit of it and just pull it around 
okay now this one I think I've been on before I think with lamb chop at all god I'm fucking all over the place oh god yeah watch your speed coming down here mate you're not very skilled you're not very skilled and you all come a cropper oh man this is amazing this is really really good fun someone I was thinking about earlier regarding getting to know the different lanes and stuff like that and uh, building up your skill set it's really good practice to play in different places I think it teaches you to not just rely on the muscle memory from doing the same thing over and over again on rinse and repeat more splooshies splooshy sploosh <laughs> nice This brings us out, I think, in a minute to the sandy area we were at earlier, I think, just on the right here. Yes, sand! Woohoo! <laughs> I really don't like sand, I just don't know how to do it. I know it's go faster and keep your weight back a little bit and all that sort of stuff, I know that, but the reality is, is that it's really difficult to achieve <laughs> oh my word <laughs> so I'm sitting as far back as I can but I am also weighting the pegs as well if that makes sense It was up here where I struggled last time. So I'm going on the left hand side. Oh, well, I haven't died, and I think I'm getting a little better. I'm not getting faster, but I'm getting a little better, which I guess that is actually, instead of actually really better, it's just my confidence is improving a little more. Okay, I can do the second one, but I can't do the first one. So I'm using the first one to weight my suspension and then throttling up on the way up of the next one. That seems to work. Okay, so... <laughs> oh man. 5p50 me, 5p50 me. <laughs> so yes, I can do the whoopee bit a little bit yeah I can do a double whoop thingy and get the weight right well that's good to know that's good to know I know I'm not really using the right words for any of this <laughs> but I'm very aware oh god we've got more of them I forgot about this part having more <laughs> must keep an eye on what Pez's bike's doing Okay, yeah, that works. That's kind of fun. <laughs> I nearly got out of shape there. Cool, that's me forks bottoming out. I've really got to be careful on these higher ones. That was alright. That was alright. And there's a doggo. Thank you. Whew. Well, that was cool. It was good to learn 
a new trick on those whiffy bits. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm pleased with that. Even if I haven't done very much today as far as learning goes, or appreciating limitations, I do feel like I've learned a little bit there on weighting the suspension to help me do those um, whippy bits. Awesome. Such magical changes in terrain and scenery. It's just such a wonderful place to ride over here. Going from rocks, waterbeds, sand, and just plain old normal mud. Awesome. They're very lucky down this part of the world. Very lucky indeed. I quite like this surface. I don't know what it's classed as. Leafy mulch. It's a little bit sandy, a little bit dirty. It's kind of a bit of everything, except for the rocks. <laughs> cool in here it's, uh, it's nice it's a lot easier going down here than it was going up here I believe as well but then again that again might be familiarization where I remember it a bit more now because I've done it this morning going the other way because I really don't know what battery life I've got left on this little camera I'm going to do my clothes out now so there might be a little bit of time travel with future lanes we get to future offs and stuff that i don't know have happened yet um so yes we'll see i'll keep the camera going as best as i can um but yeah so i hope you enjoyed this and if you haven't done so already please do click that subscribe button it'd be great to have you come back for some more and if you enjoyed this video why not give it a little thumbs up too and if you didn't you can give it a little thumbs down it's all cool it's all cool for school but whatever you do please do drop in a comment it'd be awesome awesome to uh hear from you oh <laughs> that one was depot depot pesaru <laughs> oh man <laughs> awesome what a close out <laughs> um but yes anyway so unlike peza you ride safe, <laughs> take care, and I'll catch you all in the next one. <laughs> bye bye for now. <laughs>